Cordelia Taylor has for decades cared for the invisible elderly in zip code 53206. Her faithful service has led some to refer to her as the Mother Teresa of Milwaukee. A simple Google search for her life story is filled with accolades and accomplishments. In October, vicious people broke into the organization's family house and vandalized the buildings over a number of days. Shortly afterwards, while leading a walking tour through the building to assess the damage, Cadelia Taylor came across an even greater problem. A problem that could render the facility on North 11th Street as virtually unsellable. So, you know, I have to be grateful. Right now, I hear the fire department coming because somebody had wrecked our basement water system and water is everywhere and I can't imagine why, but only God knows. So I appreciate what you guys are doing here, but we all can only do so much. Yes. <laughs> yes. And there's no electricity here, so. Okay, he said he's got a light. I was just videotaping this house. What's going on? What? Oh, here? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Okay. But an 82 year old woman is heartbroken after vandals stole valuables and trashed the site. For more than three decades, Family House on North 11th Street in Milwaukee was often called a blessing for low-income seniors needing a safe and clean place to live. Yes. But now it's in disarray. And see this door? Family House founder Cordelia Taylor shows the busted door where thieves broke in. Are you ready to walk in water? She leads us to the soaked basement targeted for copper plumbing. Someone went in and just ravaged the place. There's shattered glass, flooded floors, ransacked drawers, security system cut. The TV monitor that once hung on this wall is history. It hurts to see windows broken and paper straws over the floor and it just I just don't understand. Though Family House closed in March, it's slated to reopen as a place to help incarcerated men turn their lives around. But now this sweet retired grandmother is left with a big mess and a heavy heart about our world. You looking at a person who is hurting today because I don't know where I'm going from here. I don't know. Now Cadelia finds herself in a position that rather than being one caring for the elderly with little or no money, she is the one in need of care, and she has little or no money for retirement. Not because she didn't plan, but because evil forces came to destroy what was left. We are raising money for Cadelia's retirement as a thank you from Milwaukee for this great saint who has for over three decades dedicated her life to improving our city.